three months while I was competing. And by the time I reached the end of my freshman year, I was on crutches, my Achilles tendon right back here. It was normally this thick, it was this thick. And when I moved my foot, it squeaked. It went ee, ee, ee. And so I went to the doctor and the doctor was, uh, he says, oh, well, you know, this is an overuse injury. And I said, oh, can we get it better? He said, well, sure we can get it better, you know? All you have to do is not run. I was like, oh, you know, this was all I wanted to do growing up, was I wanted to, um, I loved running, I was the kind of kid who trained twice a day, I had dreams of uh, making the Olympic team, and uh, that's, that was my entire passion in life, and so I went crazy, I essentially went crazy, and my mom, my sweet mom, got tired of me moping around the house, and she says, don't just pout, do something, and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> she's like, well, I don't know, go write a book. I said, okay. <laughs> like I said, I was going a little crazy in the head, and um, and I wrote my first novel. That was at 19. Well, hold on. But you're a sports guy. I and, was. And the impression that we have on the States is that you're either a sports jock or you're the reader. Yeah. Did you come from a literary household with the books in the house? <sighs> my, my father was a university professor my, and a very avid reader. My mom was a very avid reader, and I was a very good student. I mean, I, I, mean, I was a very good student. Um, I did both, I guess. Um, some kids do both. Of course. So uh, up to that point, though, have you ever put pen to paper? No. In a creative sense, for anything else in school? No, and it's funny, you know, because I was, I was 19 and I'd written my first novel. And I, after I write this novel, and it wasn't very good. I mean, it was, you know, it was bad, is what it was. Um, but I realized I enjoyed the process of, of writing. And, I enjoyed the, the, the idea that I could come up with a story and put it on paper. So with that in mind, when I went back to the university and, and chose my major, business finance, and I didn't write another thing for the next three years. And so I graduated. Um, you know, I had, a, I had a plan. My plan was that after the university, I was going to go to law school. And I thought it was a pretty good plan because I'm comfortable talking in front of a crowd, I could, uh, I did well in my logic classes, all this great stuff, and it was a pretty good plan except for one thing, and that was that I didn't get accepted to any law school, so. <laughs> so I didn't know what to do, so hence the, these number of <laughs> crazy jobs.